Hello YouTube, it is Miko the Man 10 here, and today I will be showing you how to make a Minecraft vanilla server for 1.6.2. That's right, version 1.6.2. So, uh, first things first, you are going to need a Minecraft server.jar, which you can get from the Minecraft website, and I will also have this link in the description. So, uh, first things first, let's go over to minecraft.net slash download multiplayer server. But you don't want to download the .x version, you want to download the minecraft server .1.6.4.jar. So, just click on that. My downloads over here. But, uh, so you're going to want to open up minecraft server 1.6.4.jar. Just click on that, and if you're you are if you're using any uh, earlier or newer newer versions of uh, the downloads version, I was just looking through my downloads to see if there's anything. But so once you once you get to the downloads bin, you're just going to want to drag your Minecraft server dot jar onto your desktop, and then you're going to want to exit out of your downloads, exit out of your other downloads and you can close your safari tab now that you have this minecraft server dot jar thing and highlight it in orange i just feel like doing this i don't know why i'm actually gonna unhighlight it do to create this new folder is just right click on your desktop anywhere on your desktop and then just click new folder and then you'll have this here and if it just pops up without the name without the name thing if you if you want to uh... if you want to uh title it just uh, just click on the name and then this will come up but if that doesn't work for you just click on it right click on it click get info and then you're gonna want to click here uh, no I'm not doing this more info over here no name and extension so you're gonna want to go to name and extension so once so again uh, right click on it click get info get info right here and you're just going to want to look for name and extension and click this little arrow over here and then it will say untitled folder I'm going to name that 6.4 so once you're done with that you're going to want to open this up and if you do not know how to open up a folder you can either double click it or again right click on it and click open so once this is open you're going to want to copy or you can just drag your minecraft server dot jar into your vanilla server folder I'm just going to clean it up to make it all nice, and I'm going to highlight it in red, because red is one of my favorite colors, and I'm just going to arrange by name, so now everything's all nice. So now that I have my vanilla syrup jar open, I'm just going to double click, or right click, and click open, and you're going to want to click open, and you should see that a jar opener should open on your right here net dot minecraft server dot minecraft server and then uh, and then something like this should open up there will be a couple warnings but don't worry the server does work and I'll show you how to get on and uh, if you want to know how to get your friends on I'll show you if you just go onto my channel check it out subscribe like comment but uh, while, while you're on my channel why don't you do all that stuff like all my videos subscribe but before you do that what you're gonna want to do is check out how to get Hamachi for your Mac and Hamachi is basically um, so that people can get onto your Minecraft server it's a, a very helpful and useful application for uh, gaming when you want people to join your server but since this is almost this is almost finished downloading now uh, 98 and it's done so now, like, for example, my Minecraft username is Miko the Man. so if you want to op yourself so you can get creative and everything like that, you just click op Miko the Man and hit return or enter. And over here, as you can see, it says opt Miko the Man. If I want to put myself onto creative, I'll do, I will do game mode, game mode one. Miko the man, but since I'm not on the server, the, that player can't be found. But if you want to, if you want to do that, then just uh, do game mode to his adventure mode. But game mode zero, Miko the man, or whatever your Minecraft name is, and you will get that player isn't found. But hopefully you don't get that because your your Minecraft player should be on the server when you're when you're doing this. 
So once you're done with that, you're not going to, don't exit it out like you normally do. Don't click the big red button, or in my case, I changed it to the big gray button. Uh, do, type in stop, and then hit enter or return. And then, there you have it. You now have your own Minecraft server. But, uh, one thing I want to show mode, a server IP, don't mess with that. Uh, some of this stuff you don't want to mess with, like you can allow the nether, uh, you can allow flights, so basically people can fly around in the server if they have any mods. Um, you can change the level seed, you can change the difficulty, the game mode for people, PvP, you can turn that on and off. So basically, if like, let's say you don't want people to be able to kill you, uh, you just put, instead of putting PvP to true, you put false, but on my server, I want PvP. So let's say if you want PvP, just keep it at true. Uh, if you want people to have game mode, you just put it on to 1, but if you don't want them to have game mode, change that to 0. And you can also change your max player, so however how, however many people you want on your server, like let's say I want 100 people on my server, uh, you can put in 100 And if, if you port forward your server. And I also have a, um, I'm just going to put that back to Tony, I, I'll, uh, I will also have a... Uh, Hopefully, if I if I have time to make this, or if I don't I don't really uh, if I don't feel comfortable with um, with port forwarding, but um, so I'm not I'm not gonna port forward quite yet. Uh, once I once I look into it a little bit more to see if it's uh, good or not, I'm probably gonna start up my own Minecraft server. If I uh, if I if I get the guts to <laughs> if I get the guts to uh, port forward my uh, my uh, router or whatever you want to call it, but so basically spawn monsters you can put that false or true generate structures so that's basically like villages dungeons um, temples that's that's basically stuff like that and your view distance and your mod D is basically what pops up so like you know like when you when you uh, join a Minecraft server under under the Minecraft name there's like oh my website is this or uh, Minecraft server but like like for example a Minecraft server is your default uh, mod D, but I want to change my mod D so that people can see it to let's change it over to hello and welcome to my server save it if you made some changes and you also have your ops, I'm an op, Miko the man, and then band players band IPs oh you can actually, oh wow uh, but ban IPs and and whitelist and then there's also world and it just contains the data like no one's been on that my server yet so the players aren't going to be on that but I'm not I'm not going to get into this right now so let's join my Minecraft server and, and also if uh, if I want to uh, check out uh, what my IP is for people to join on my Hamachi I'm not gonna show you but just search up if con or go to terminal and search up if config there will probably be I'll probably have another video on how to do that but um, but for now I'm not gonna show you guys that so let's go to Minecraft Minecraft open Minecraft oh I need to start up my server so just click open or open with jar launcher default if it, if open doesn't just open doesn't work and my Minecraft server should start up right away. Say, hopefully say done and all that stuff. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for my Minecraft to start up. And here we go. So I'm just going to make this full screen. And I go to multiplayer, direct connect, and if you just for the fun of it. But uh, so yeah, that's how to make a uh, Minecraft vanilla server for Mac. And uh, so thank you for watching. Again, 